Welcome back Time Stoners, and today we're in for a treat because we're looking at one of the most powerful and popular things in iOS. How you can auto-magically change the prices of your packages with conditions. Today's case study is in fact three different case studies from three different photographers who are basically all doing variations of the same thing. What they have in common is the concept of the second package at half price, which simply means after a customer orders a package, the package prices are henceforth reduced by 50%. That's simple enough, and in fact, that's all our first photographer wants to do. He doesn't care what they order and for who or when. As soon as something, anything, is ordered, everything then becomes half price. Furthermore, it doesn't matter what sequence they've added things to the cart. If they've ordered two or more things, the most expensive will be at full price, while any others will be reduced. Next, we've got someone who gets lots of orders from parents with multiple kids at the same school. So they want to limit the situation so it resets between each kid. They don't want the parent to order a single package for the first child, then get discounted packages for everyone else. Any child will need to order at least two packages to take advantage of the discount. The last photographer is happy to offer all this, but not for every package. She wants the packages to be reduced only if people order at least one of her A and B packs, her two most expensive packages. Then the discount kicks in. Confused? Don't be. Get yourself comfortable as we work through these examples and you'll see it's really quite simple. Okay, I'm actually going to start here in TS Admin because it's in here that we set up the second price list. Here's my offer. You can see I have eight packages, A through H, and a base price for each package. Let's make the second price list where they'll be half price. Okay, when we create the price list, we can specify the condition that will activate it. I'm calling my condition, and hence my price list, second package, second PKG. I haven't made that condition yet, but when I do, I need to make sure its code exactly matches what I have in here. Then go ahead and set the prices that will be used when the condition kicks in. In our case studies, we're making them half price, but of course you're free to set them to anything you like, including leaving some of them unchanged if you don't want them to be discounted. Now we have two price lists for this offer. The base price list, and a conditional price list that will be used when the condition second PKG is true. Let's go make that condition. I'm in the control panel and I'll start a new condition called second PKG, which matches exactly what I've just set in my offer. Recall our first photographer simply wants the price list to kick in as soon as anything is added to the cart. There's a few conditions that will do this, but the best and most powerful is this one. Package, price, against most expensive card items. What this does is look at the price of each package in your shop and compares it to what's already in the card. So if I set this quantity to one, it starts looking as soon as there's something in the card. And if there's more than one thing in the card, it looks at the most expensive then asks whether the packages in the shop are either the same price as the most expensive package already in the cart, more expensive, greater than or equal in value to it, less than the most expensive package already in the cart, and finally, less than or equal to it. And it's this last option that is most commonly used. You're effectively saying second package is at half price, provided it's of equal or lesser value than the first. So let's summarize what we have here. What we are saying is the cart will always have one package at full price, the most expensive one. Then the condition becomes true for packages that are of equal or lesser value. An advantage of this condition is you can choose how many packages need to be in the cart for the condition to kick in. If I make the quantity two, now the cart will always have two items at full price, then the condition will be true for the third package onwards, provided again, they are of lesser or equal value. But let's stick to our case study, set this to one, 
and go see what happens on the website. I've uploaded a job vow offer and entered this girl's access key. You can see her eight packages and to make it easy for us to see what's going on, I've simply made the base price of each package $10 cheaper than the one before it. And I've also put its full price in the package title so we can always see what it originally was even once the reduced price kicks in. I add something to the cart, for example, the B package. The condition is now active because there's something in the cart and applies to all packages that are of equal or lesser value than the B pack. You can see they're now at half price. I'll now add pack C as well and let's go to the cart to have a look. You can see the most expensive package is still at full price, while the C pack is at its conditional price. If your customers try to trick the system and remove the B pack from the cart, the C pack returns to its full price. Very nice. While in here, I'll remove everything and start again. This time, I'll add the C pack first at full price, which activates the condition for all the packages from C downwards. Now I'll add package B. In the cart, you can see the C pack is the one at half price. The condition has done the right thing and the most expensive package in the cart is at its original price, while the lesser package is the reduced one. Put simply, or put another way, it doesn't matter in what order your customers add their packages. Also very nice. Now let's see what happens when we order for her brother in the same order. Here's his key and you'll notice that straight away he can order at reduced prices because his sister already activated the condition and it's still active now. So everything from B down is at half price, B being the most expensive package currently in the cart. You may not want this. Like our second photographer, you may prefer the condition to restart for each shoot key. And you can do this with a slight modification to our condition. Back in the control panel. Recall we used the condition that checks the package price against the most expensive package already in the cart. But that last parameter has a cousin that does this checking only for a given shoot key or an identity if you're doing identify ordering. What this means is the condition starts again from subject to subject, even if they're in the same order. So let's switch to this one and go back to ordering for our brother and sister. Once again, I'll start with Madeline and add package B to the cart. You can see the condition is now active. Packages B downwards are reduced if I were to continue ordering for her. But instead, I'll switch to her brother and notice now the condition is not active for him. He can't order at the reduced price until he too adds something to the cart. Our final case study also preferred this variation of the condition, but with one further restriction. She wanted the whole thing to work only if they order either package A or package B. So let's go back to the control panel one more time. Our condition as it stands has just the one parameter in it that we've been talking about, but we can add others to it, notably this one. Session, cart, items in the cart where the package code is. Now remember, our photographer only wants the condition to be true when at least one copy of either packages A or B have been ordered. So I enter their codes here, separated by a semicolon. With this modification, the condition will only work when the customer adds either the A pack or the B pack to the cart. Let's have a look. Here's Maddie again, and notice now when I order package C or D, or anything other than packages A and B, nothing happens, the prices don't change. The condition is not true now, because I haven't added the A or B pack, so the conditional price list doesn't kick in. But watch as soon as I do. I add, for example, pack A, the condition is now true, and the packages are now at half price. Moreover, when I go to the cart, 
The C, D and E packages, which I just added a moment ago at full price, are now at their conditional reduced price. And the most expensive package in the cart is at full price. Very, very nice. So there you have it. Three examples of how people are using this quite powerful condition. Of course, there's many ways you can dynamically change prices using conditions. Why not let us know in the comment section below how you're using conditional price lists. And we'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.